Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DevKit Weekly. This week we'll be reviewing and raffling a couple GD 32E507Z eval boards, development kits that are built around the new GD 32E5 series of high performance MCUs from Gigadevice. High performance MCU, I roll right? I mean, micro is in the name of MCU. Well, the 32-bit GD32E5 series of MCUs featured at the center of this week's kit gives credence to the oxymoron by integrating an ARM Cortex M33 core that clocks in at 180 MHz and integrates a built-in floating point unit, hardware multiplier and dividers, access to DSP instructions via the ARM V8M instruction set, as well as a trigonomic math unit that offloads vector, sine, cosine, exponent, square root, common logarithm, and other mathematical operations from the primary CPU. That processing subsystem represents 244 DMEPs of horsepower and, in conjunction with a host of other peripherals we'll get to in just a second, makes the GD32E5 processors well-equipped for demanding DSP applications like switch mode power supplies, frequency conversion, industrial control systems, measurement instrumentation, consumer electronics, and so on. Oh yeah, they're also really good at precision motor control. High precision motor control. In order to function in these noisy electrical environments, the devices leverage a clock spreading technology that reduces EMI and feature high noise immunity, passing a six kilovolt electrostatic discharge test. As you might have guessed, the peripherals on the GD32OE507 at the heart of this kit are critical to delivering the precision required by those applications I mentioned previously. They include three advanced 12-bit 21-channel ADCs, two 12-bit DACs, three ultra-fast comparators with a delay time of just 22 nanoseconds, a super high-resolution 90PS timer backed by an equally high-resolution on-chip PWM generator and five counters, and all of this is packed in with excellent mixed signal integration onto a 40 nanometer TSMC process technology that offers a nice mix of that high performance with the super efficient power consumption numbers that we've come to expect from ARM Cortex-based chips. In fact, the chips consume just 332 microamps per megahertz and support five low power deep sleep and standby modes, one of which shuts down the internal regulator and uses an external crystal with a real-time clock to remain in a useful state, but only draws 640 nanoamps of power. That's certainly enough to operate off of a battery. And what do you know, there happens to be a battery slot right here. So the pin-to-pin -pin compatible portfolio of GD32E5 devices are available with 128 to 512 kilobytes of embedded flash and 80 to 120 kilobytes of SRAM. They can operate over a negative 40 to plus 85 degrees C temperature range and accept 1.7 volts to 3.6 volt power supplies. They also have five volt tolerant IOs and are manufactured in four, count them four, LQFP packages. So, as I said, the MCU is so high performance that we haven't even gotten to the kit yet. The chip connects out to the kit through interfaces that include six UARTs, three SPIs, two I2Ss, an SDIO, a high-speed USB 2.0, and one Ethernet. And this setup, of course, also allows for the use of external memory in the form of SRAM, PSRAM, ROM, NORFLASH, 8 or 16-bit NAND flash, or 16-bit PC cards. But when you start zooming out to the broader GD32E507Z eval full function evaluation board, you will find that there is an onboard GD-Link programmer debugger and an external JTAG connector for a super easy on-ramp to developing. You can develop through the GD-Link 3-in-1 tool, which is an online debugger, online programmer, and offline programmer, or familiar development tools to embedded engineers like Sager Embedded Studio and Sager JLink, IAR Embedded Workbench and IAR iJet, Kyle Uvision 4.5, or Eclipse. From there, engineers can layer on their choice of embed, free RTOS, or RT thread operating systems, and even connect up to the cloud via AWS. 
GigaDevice software libraries are available for each device series and example code for each board, including use case specific boards like the FD32E507 FOC motor control board, which unfortunately isn't this one, but cool all nonetheless, are available as well. Specific information on the various GigaDevice full function evaluation boards as well as starter kits can be found at gigadevice.com or www.gd32mcu.com. But on this particular board, there are also some LEDs, some jumper pins, and push buttons, obviously. These mounting holes around the edges that you can see. And I'm not sure if you noticed, there's also this 3.2 inch TFT LCD display. Another hint that the GD32E5 series packs a ton of performance under the hood. All in all, this is a pretty impressive little electronic oxymoron with more than enough to handle demanding signal processing tasks. It might be even more than you need, and if that's the case, GigaDevice has you covered with more than 27 other product lines and 360 parts in the ARM Cortex M3, M4, M23, and even RISC-V technology ranges. But back to the GD32E507Z eval boards. You'll have to get in contact with Giga Devices through their website to get your hands on one of these, which you can do via the support contact us section after visiting the previously mentioned URLs. The company has offices in China, Taiwan, Korea, Singapore, the US, and the UK. So no matter where you are in the world, they should be able to get you set up and get a kit to you very, very quickly. But if you don't want to go through all that, feel free to enter this week's raffle in which we'll be giving away two of these GD32E507Z eval boards, as well as one of these GD32E507V start starter kits for absolutely free. You can just click on the link that's on the screen right now or in the description below to enter the raffle. Well, that's it for this week's kit. Good luck in the raffle for this Mighty Mouse, the high performance MCU Giga Device full function evaluation board. And we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.